Okay, 1C is all about writing basic expressions using the vocabulary we've already built on from 1A. So now that you are more familiar with expressions and algebraic expressions and all the parts of it and all the words that go with it, we're going to actually take some expressions and either write phrases for them or vice versa, have a phrase and write an expression for it. So this chart kind of helps you see the connection. So if you have the expression 4 plus x, that's the same as saying the sum of 4 and x, but that is not the only way you could write that. You could say, four more than x, you could say the um, uh, four plus x, just like we normally would read it. Um, you could also, instead of saying x, you could say a number, because remember x represents some unknown number. So you could say the sum of four and a number, um, or really any of your addition words from your um, section in 1a you could use. Um, so subtraction, that one is a little different than addition because the order does matter in the way you put it. So if you notice, I've got y minus 5. That is one way I could write a phrase for that expression. But another way is saying subtract 5 from y. And notice how it's written as y minus 5, but you say subtract 5 from y. So see how it's flip-flopped? But that's because of that word subtract 5 from y. Um, that's leading you to what order it needs to be written in. So it also goes the other way. If you saw subtract 5 from y, you should know y minus 5. And again, several ways to write this. You could say the difference of y and 5. Um, you could say 5 less than y. So notice how I said the 5 first because 5 is less than y. Um, so order does matter with subtraction. You do have to be careful with that. 2x, we can't just say 2x because that doesn't really tell us anything. Somehow we need to show multiplication. So you could say the product of 2 and x, or you could say um, 2 times a number, or you could even say twice a number, or double x, or something like that. Okay, so um, lots of options. So that's really it as far as the lesson part. Um, your next part is a matching, so you need to match the phrase and the expression together and get a peer signature, get a classmate signature. Remember we've talked about that before, that you do not want to just sign off on it blindly, actually check the work with the person. Even if you haven't gotten to this part yet, you should still have an idea of whether they are correct or not. So before you sign, take a quick glance at it just like I would, and then you can sign off on it and move on. Um, there is some practice to do as well there, where you need to either write the expression from the phrase or vice versa, write a phrase for the expression. And then you get a signature from me when you are done with that, as well as creating your own. Notice at the bottom it says create your own um, on the next notes page. And then once you've gotten that signature from me, then you'll be ready to go on to the level one formative. All right, good luck. Take what we've known to uh, or what we've worked on in order to practice these skills.